so I just created the project and uh, if I go to the projects page um, this project is currently empty there's nothing in it so I'm just gonna load the road which I import from an XML file that I just created and um, I'm using Moomoo which is a Android emulator on my PC to do this there is the road dot xml file road2 that comes from roadmaker um, and then if i edit that you will see these are my profile sections and uh, let's go and look at the vertical alignment you should see there's a vertical alignment yeah, uh, it just creates a side view of it okay um, and then I'm gonna go back and go back again now it's back onto my portrait view and my horizontal alignment same it's already imported as part of the XML so if I now need to stake out something on that road I'm just gonna expand this window a little bit bring that into view and we go to survey and we're gonna say road stakeout now currently this um, GPS is a simulator it's not nearly in the right place so let me just quickly sort that out for the demonstration I think it is going to be a simulation there and I'm going to pick somewhere on my drawing um, of which I don't have any CAD or anything loaded so uh, I'm going to have to stop the video here and just get it set up for you all right now that we have the road file loaded i'm also going to load the cat so i'm just going to go to import other formats internal storage go to download and open up that file so we go to survey and map survey just to view it all right so here you can see that the CAD is now represented that's not the road okay so it's just some CAD that I loaded so we will now localize our GPS based on this just because this is a simulator I'm just getting myself orientated onto this so to do that in the simulator obviously if you have a GPS you would not do it this way you would actually be on site so let's say I'm located uh, Okay, it needs a quarter or something, so we just say okay. Um, I'm not sure about the height, so we'll have to see. Um, in fact, let me go and look at it at the Roadmaker. I um, just want to view my long section. So I can see my height in the middle there is about 131 ish. Okay, so uh, I'll just use that as a height for my Moomoo player also. So I'm just going to change this to 131 and say connect. So now my GPS is, Successfully connected. is uh, sort of orientated onto my road. So we go to survey and we're going to say road stakeout. So now we have a location in relationship to a specific point on the road. And let me just change the way these units are displayed. So I go to software settings, I go to units and just change that bottom station. I don't like to work with this. So we just set it to something that's visibly pleasing and familiar for my eyes. And uh, then we go back to survey and we will just say road stack out. All right. So when I do road stake out, I can then say, where am I? So immediately when I press where am I, I can see that my position, that big blue dot, well, that's theoretically where the GPS is. And let's say I want to do the box um, from the road edge. So I need to set up my staking based on that. So I change that where am I, I'm just going to go to stake out road by point and then click on that little flag at the top there and then we can use a mode so um, we want to go say two meters out and then we can so currently um, based on what i'm viewing there you'll see there's a red dot on that profile 
by just pressing on these arrows I can jump between them so the red dot is sort of the focus area so I want to be focusing on that left edge position and stake out a point two meters to the side now there is no slope on that um, profile so it is zero percent so that is the position where the GPS will actually take me okay so there's no vertical difference because there is no cross fall but if there was a cross fall let's take that toe argument sake so the toe has got some more other slope and then I can just say stake out from that toe using the previous segment so the previous segment is the shoulder break point to the toe that's the previous segment so it's just extrapolating that slope creating that orange dot there at two meters wider than wherever the toe is so if you want that offset to be less you can just make it one meter um, and that will give you that point so it will navigate me to that and then down here in the station interval I can say okay take me if I uh, want to go every 10 meters just change that to 10 and say stake out and um, so now it's taking me based on that change where I'm at at 184 it's taking me to that point so you can see the blue point there that's where I need to go um, and uh, you can also get some other information there showing us how to navigate to that position and it shows us what our current offset is in relationship to the center line of the road and um, yeah that should allow you to navigate to your different points if I go there I can also see in a cross-section view where I'm at and where I need to be is the blue dot um, or you can always just say stake out road in three points and then just pick your change that you want to go to you can choose which point you want to um, actually stake out okay and you can also enter a station there say I want to go to station 180 specifically um, let's see if I can say got by road by point there so I can't really navigate here so I have to follow um, the interval as it is set up but here I can go and say uh, I want to do station 190 for instance and then I can just press the plus key and it will jump to every 10 meters obviously if there's a vertical or horizontal curve it's gonna do intermediate stations also um, so that's how we navigate to the specific points based on our parameters on a specific offset from a specific point again so if I just want to stake out the road box that's going to be the focus and then from that point outwards one meter based on the previous section slope so we will have defined slope by previous section so that will extrapolate that surface slope outwards to that point so that's where it's navigating me to and um, there's your plan view again just to get to that point so yeah experiment there are some nice options here but mostly you'll use the stakeout road or stakeout by point and if you don't know where you're at just press where am I and it tells you what station you're at and what your current elevation is what's the design level that you need and how much you must fill to get back to your design at that position